This is Andy Pure Wealth for Boxing News. I'm joined by Dalton Smith here in London. Dalton, good to see you. Fresh face, no marks, no bruises after... Uh, I don't know whether you might like me saying, but what ended up being a bit more of a comfortable night's work this past weekend. Congrats on a stunning performance, stunning win. How are you feeling? How do you reflect? Yeah, feeling good. Um, you know, I think I've probably been in with the most dangerous man in my career, and it's nice to come out without having a cut or a black eye or or, or anything. But it just shows how switched on I was. Game plan, you know, we we executed the game plan perfectly. And yeah, great finish. Let's just dissect the fight a little bit. It seemed to be, for most people, the first couple of rounds they, they gave them towards Jose. Um, did you did it seem, or did you feel maybe a little bit tentative at all in those initial rounds while she was working him out? Did you feel his power in those opening rounds? Yeah, obviously it was. Like, you look at most of my fights, you know, the f couple, first couple of rounds are pretty close. You know, I tend to, like, work people out a little bit, but we always knew Jose was going to start fast. Um, he's a pressure fighter and... You know, he's stopped, I don't know how many knockouts he's got in the first round, but it's, it's a lot. It's probably more than I've had fights, but we always knew he was going to come out pretty fast, but we knew a couple of rounds, get his timing, feel his power. Um, um, you know, that's when I started getting my timing, my distance. But to be honest, like, his, his power-wise expected much, much more. Um, so obviously those first couple of rounds, he is feeling his power, seeing, you know, the way he moves, his, his timing. But... Like you say, it only took me two rounds, and then, you know, rounds three, four, five, you could, that's where you could see me, you know, up, up my game. What was it exactly that you felt like you was able to work out from his when you did start to take more control from the third round onwards? I just felt like everything he did, I had an answer for. Um, you know, I, and obviously, those first couple of rounds, you're working out what his game plan is. Um, you know, because we expected him to, to work the body quite, quite a lot. Um, you know, try and catch and counter. But to be honest, he came out on the front foot. And and like I say, it was just getting his timing. And then I realised, um, you know, once I was fainting, pushing a jab, and I was making him fall short, and then I could counter. Um, but yeah, obviously, it was just two rounds to, to, to work a world-level fighter out. The body shot Dalton um, certainly caught a few people by surprise. I think it might have even caught you a little bit surprised by seeing your reaction because obviously Jose is somewhat kneeled over, but he never initially dropped straight to the floor. And then you went in to try and get somewhat of a finishing shot before he did drop. What was going through your mind when that shot landed and his somewhat delay until he dropped down? I remember throwing the shot and as it landed, I thought, yeah, that's got you. But he tried to brave it out a little bit and then he, was, he realised, you know, he, body shots are a delayed reaction. You think you can, you can take them and then it's like, shit, that, that's got me. Um, I know he said body shots are hard to recover from. And I expected him to get up because, you know, he's never stayed down, he's always got up. Um, you know, he's been in some wars, he's took some big, big shots, some big, big punches. So, you know, I was in the corner expecting him to get up because I was saying to myself, right, you don't, don't rush this, you know, he's dangerous, he's a dangerous fighter. But when the ref got to like six, seven, you know, that's when I realised, yeah, he's, he's not getting up. It was a real statement victory for yourself on Saturday, Dalton. What do you think that says to the rest of the division? I think the the performance, you know, speaks for itself. You know, it was there's no walkover fight, and and Jose's wasn't really on the slide. He'd only lost at world level against good. You know, you could say pound for pound, some of the best fighters in the world. So, yeah, he's it was definitely a big statement, and you know, I I definitely proved you know where I belong. There's going to be a lot of talk, obviously, about that Adam Azim fight. You said in your post-fight interview, and Eddie said you'll be willing to drop down the levels to, to fight him now. How many levels do you personally feel there are between the pair of you at this moment in both of your careers? I think the performance on Saturday night was definitely many levels above. Um, you know, I believe that anyway. It was just about me proving where I belonged. Um, but, yeah, obviously, that's the, the fight where everybody's been talking about. It's the only fight people have been talking about. Um, even the build-up to the Jose Zapita fight, which is Adam Azim, Adam Azim, Adam Azim. Um, you've just got to just look through that and, and focus on what's in front. How difficult is that becoming now, though? Because it is building up more and more noise, especially on the back of a weekend. Everybody's waiting to see what Adam's going to do, if he's going to pursue that fight with yourself or if he might vacate at all. Is it becoming more difficult because there is a lot of excitement out of the prospect of you two sharing a ring? No, it's a good thing. So while other people are talking about it, the fight's getting bigger. Um, and there's, there's more eyes on the fight, but 
to be honest, I, I literally couldn't give give a shit. Like, you know, like you say, it's all talk. That's why I'm my team to, to sort everything out. Like, I go about my day-to-day -day life, and then you know, if if the fight gets made, the fight gets made. Do you think he will step between the ropes and face you next? Um, possibly. I don't think he will next, but you know, I think he does need to make a decision. You know, I've said I want to win a European title, and. The guy who's got that is Adam Azim, and if you're not wanting the fight yet, just you know, just say you're vacating the title. Like I've got no, I've got no issue with that, but just don't prolong it. He did put a tweet out after the fight saying, "Great performance, Dalton Smith over Zapata. Adam Azim versus Dalton Smith, not the other way around, will happen. You don't need to be worried about that." What did you make of his tweet? Um, that's if that's Adam who's written that tweet. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got to come back with a reply and. No, I don't want to come across as I'm being disrespectful to Adam because I actually like him, but it's boxing, it's a business, and when I want something like like a European title, he's the guy in the way for that. So, you know, it's all, it's only right, it's, it's it's only right to say it. Final one from me, Dalton. Eddie also said in the post fight about potentially facing Regis Progre next. If you weren't to be say Adam, do you feel like the likes of Regis Progre is the correct step for you next? Yeah, definitely. And, I'd love to go over there against a big name like that. Um, you know, that's going to put me up even higher. You know, putting a good performance in there. So, so yeah, of course, going over there fighting a big name like that, it's you know, it's something. It's it's an option for us. Dalton, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you next move. Top man, thank you.